religion. Others disagree and point to the primitive treatment in Muslim countries of women and other minorities. So let's discuss this now. We're joined now by Reza Aslan, a scholar of religions, talking about how uh, women are circumcision for women, uh, not respecting the rights of women, not respecting the rights of gay people. And what's, what's your reaction? And then we'll talk. The argument about the female genital mutilation being an Islamic problem is a perfect example of that. It's not an Islamic problem, it's an African problem. Well, I mean, wait, 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 because he female... says it's a, hold on, hold on a second, because he says it's a, a Muslim country problem. He says that in Somalia... Yeah, but that's... Yeah, and that's actually empirically, factually incorrect. It's a Central African problem. Eritrea has almost 90% female genital mutilation. It's a Christian country. Ethiopia has 75% uh, female genital mutilation. It's a Christian country. Uh, nowhere else in the Muslim, Muslim majority states is female genital mutilation an issue. Reza, be honest though, for the most part, it is not a, a free and open society for women in those states. Well, it's not in Iran, it's not in Saudi Arabia, it certainly is in Indonesia and Malaysia, it certainly is in Bangladesh, it certainly is in Turkey. I mean, again, this is the problem, is that you're talking about a religion of one and a half billion people, and certainly it becomes very easy to just simply paint them all with a single brush by saying, well, in Saudi Arabia they can't drive, and so therefore that's somehow representative of Islam. It's representative of Saudi Arabia. Wait, we're not talking about women in the Muslim world were using two or three examples to justify a generalization. That's actually the definition of bigotry. All right, fair enough. The question at the bottom of the screen that everyone is looking at, does Islam promote violence? Islam doesn't promote violence or peace. Islam is just a religion, and like every religion in the world, it depends on what you bring to it. If you're a violent person, your Islam, your Judaism, your Christianity, your Hinduism is going to be violent. There are Buddhist, marauding Buddhist monks in Myanmar slaughtering women and children. Does Buddhism promote violence? Of course not people are violent or peaceful and that depends on their politics their social world the way that they see their communities the so, way they see so themselves stoning and mutilation and those barbaric practices should be condemned and criticized by everyone but to say muslim countries as though pakistan and turkey are the same as though indonesia and saudi arabia are the same as though somehow what is happening in the most extreme forms of these repressive countries these autocratic countries is representative of what's happening in every other muslim country is frankly and i use this word seriously stupid so let's stop doing that 